Hi everyone. Uh, with this uh, short video, we're going to look at setting up block elements to display on selected pages. We will be doing that with uh, Generate Press Element block element, together with ACF Advanced Custom Fields, and a, a small function. So the end uh, product that we're going to see is this little carousel, which I want it to display on various pages by ticking a checkbox and also I want this to be managed in one central place so if I decide on adding another another product or changing the layout I'll just have to do that in one place rather than go into each individual page so let's get into it and see how this can be done uh, rather quickly okay so the first step would be to create the actual uh, element so we go into we go into elements and I've created here a new element which is a block hook element let's go inside and now here I just created a simple carousel using a cadence block with uh, three items Give it a name here and the important thing is to set up a block type is hook and we want it to be displayed before the footer and that's it that's all the settings we need to do right here the next step is to create the advanced custom fields uh, checkbox or toggle toggle uh, button uh, which essentially looks like this over here if I want the carousel to show or to be hidden on this specific page so we would create uh, a new field group and a true false type uh, field and this is the field name which is important for our function to show up and I make it a stylized UI rather than a regular checkbox and the on text would be shown and the off text would be hidden this is to create this toggle here which is at the bottom of the page now after I've set up that uh, uh, custom field now what I want to do is to allow that carousel to show on the page only if I've toggled the switch on. So how do I do that? So generate press has a function which allows me to display a block element with a condition. So what I say here, this is the filter. Now, if block element ID 7314, and I'll show you how we get that, and the get field show product carousel is on then display true now how do I find find this number here if I go back to the elements page if I hover over the name of the element on the bottom left corner you will see it says post equal 7314 so that's the ID of this specific block hook so what this function says if this block hook is available and the field is turned on the, the toggle switch then display this uh, block so this is currently displayed because I have the toggle field on now if I go to the editing page and I'll toggle this to hidden and I'll update the page I'll go back and refresh now this is gone so I have control on each individual page rather if to if I want to display that uh, carousel or not that and more I can go into the product carousel itself and let's say I would like to add something under let's say I just for for testing sake I just want to write um, 
browse all our products click here I'll update this now after I've updated added that text I'll go back to my page I'll turn the carousel back on update the page go back to the page and now the carousel is showing with that text and this this will show on every carousel that I've enabled on the site so it's really great to centralize the control without the need to go into each page to update uh, this content um, so the idea is to actually create these block templates that uh, you can use across your site and then you can have a set and you can uh, either show or hide them uh, depending on the need of the page and we can make these more uh, complicated meaning it's, it doesn't have to be just one block one carousel it could be a whole set of blocks that we want to uh, show or not to show on the page uh, depending if we tick a checkbox or not so I hope you've enjoyed and if you have any questions please uh, post them below thank you